Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a little bit of a demo of the game that I created for the BitBit Bit Jam 3. Um, and in that, you were supposed to create a, a new game uh, in a week's time uh, based on uh, something that could run on older computers or game consoles, 8-bit or 16-bit. So I don't have any experience programming 16-bit uh, or 8-bit consoles, but I do have experience programming uh, in DOS, which, you know, you can get a 286 or something uh, that would play a lot of games that I could make. So I right here have uh, DOSBox open, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to see my game. Let's do the README, and it's called Princess Red Keyboard Carnage Warrior. Now the uh, theme was Red Hot uh, Princess Carnage or something like that. Go, 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 go. So basically I'm just explaining here how it works. Um, anyway, so let's just DIR this. Okay, so I wrote it in basic, but it's an exe, it's an ex executable, so let's get it going. So it's loading, and it'll play a little song. It's loading. It should be playing a song. Can't hear it though. Let me see if my speakers are turned down. Uh, maybe now you can hear it. Maybe you could have heard it the whole time, and I just couldn't. Okay, let's push pace. Okay, a long time ago in the far away kingdom of Typelandia, everyone practiced their typing skills, especially Princess Red. So you are um, playing as Princess Red, and there's the king and two of his uh, knights. So uh, her father, the king, became ill and requested that he, she find a cure to heal him. She went to Murma the king's advisor, and he informed her the cure could be made by gathering three ingredients, a mushroom, a flower, and an apple, and bringing them back to the castle. So then you pick your difficulty level. Uh, 20 is very hard and kind of tedious uh, because you'll end up going to combat quite a bit. One is fairly easy. Um, let's do five. Okay, so now we're Princess Red. She's there. She's kind of animated. She's walking around. Let's go talk to the guards. Hurry up and finish your quest. Okay, so let's go and finish our quest. And you use the arrow keys to move around. There's a little village. Uh-oh. Looks like we uh, ran into a pygmy dragon. Entering the keyboard combat zone. Press space to continue. So what will happen is you have to type the words that come up. And, oh, if you make a mistake, it, it buzzes at you and you get injured. And then if you win, it says keyboard carnage completed. And then it has a little skull and crossbones on the enemy. So let's keep on going down here. And, you know, there's a little lake here. And this is a desert. Now, the CGA graphics are pretty amazing, I know. Uh-oh, another combat. Entering the keyboard combat zone, a goblin. Jelly-like. Above the high wire six quaking pachyderms kept the climax of the extravaganza <laughs> in a dazzling state of flux. Oh, that was close. So we'll go down here. Oh, there's a key in the water, but this guy's guarding it. Let's see what he says. I'll let you pass for a diamond. Okay. So basically, you just walk around and do various things. Here, it looks like it's locked. Oh, wait, enter the combat zone. So I'm going to purposely die. Would you like to try again? Not for right now, but it is a great game, and I don't want to give it too many secrets. But yes, I do want to try again. So now it's going to reload it. And now it's playing the little song, because it didn't play it before for me, because uh, my speakers were off. So we already read all this. Let's just do level one. And one cool thing that it does is that um, there's a little Easter egg I put in there. If you push Shift O, it will change the color scheme of the game, so you can kind of change the colors. I like this, I, I really like this one, and you can press P, shift P, and it will change the color palette. 
So for that one looks kind of kind of nice. And this all works with the CGA graphics card. So anyway, thought people would enjoy seeing that and uh, but not give away all the uh, the secrets to the game so you have to figure that out yourself. I'm getting stuck in the water. <laughs> so there might be a few bugs, but anyway, uh, check out BitBit Jam 3 and, and play my game. Vote. Vote early, vote often, right? Thank <laughs> you.